Well, good morning. Just a few minutes before the top of the hour. Here's a look at the stories making news today. Well, happening today in lacrosse, people will be getting the skills to get ahead of scammers. The scam jam will be taking place this morning. Experts will be going over the latest scams and offer tips to avoiding them. We expect to have more coverage on our evening newscasts. Cross County leaders are hoping to get a better understanding of how they can serve people of all backgrounds right now, and they're getting some outside help from a consultant. A listening session will take place this morning at 10 over at the Holman Public Library. The Sparta Area School District recently released a survey to its families and community members asking for feedback on the $750,000 operational referendum next April. That would implement major upgrades and enhancements to the Sparta High School. You can learn more about the survey at this story over on our website. And over to our forecast now, uh, interesting forecast on our Tuesday here, Kyle. We saw a few of those showers and storms now moving out of the Cooley region, but as we head into our afternoon, we could still see a few more of these small chances for showers to really start increasing as we head into our evening as well. 75 degrees for our forecast highs. The rest of our day trending mostly cloudy with a few more showers and thunderstorms. We'll see winds out of the south southwest at about 10 to 15. 59 degrees for tonight. More thunder showers. Still going to be breezy. We could see the occasional wind gusts reaching 25 miles per hour and in the 60s for highs tomorrow. More showers and thunderstorms possible. Most of Wednesday trending dry under a a mostly cloudy sky, so we will see a few clouds, but we'll still mainly stay dry throughout Wednesday. Into the 60s for highs once again by Thursday. Rain showers becoming likely once again in our forecast, and then we'll see a few more rain showers. That's for early Friday, but check out these temperatures. Both high temperatures and low temperatures taking quite a dip from Thursday into Friday, even more so from Friday into Saturday into the 40s for highs as we head into the weekend and even seeing some of these lows in the 30s and in the 20s.